today the Evo 10 has just landed. Now, this is a very special Evo 10 because it is a drifty boy. This is the newest summit reward. Actually, it's in a bundle. Oh, I was about to tell you that you have to do the summit's bloody gator, but apparently not. We're going to go into the summit and actually have a look now because I'm ge I have genuinely thought I Oh, no, it's actually just a new car and you get the special to... <gasps> Hello. Look at the underglow on that summit. That is amazing. I'm super excited about that. So the lowrider is the only summit car for a while. Interesting. I genuinely thought I was going to have to jump into the summit right now, but we do not have to. We need an Evo 10 drift car for that one event. So that's how they're going to get you. So this car is actually purchasable with normal in-game money. That's amazing. I didn't think that was going to be a thing. We're going to jump into this then. And I believe, yes, there is also another bundle. Now, this bundle is going to be super cheap because I have most of it. So do I want the tires is quite frankly the only thing I do not have. And those tires are actually sick. So I'm going to buy this bundle because it's very cheap because I already have the bloody car that comes with it. Okay, are any other bundles available? This one's available. Oh, hang on. Aren't these the vanity items that we're going to win from the summit? Interesting. Not sure how I feel about being able to buy all of the rewards. But the summit... Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I forgot they added the GSX. The GSX is incredible. I love it so much. I want to buy one. If you have one in the UK, I love you so much. Please let me buy your car. Now, we can buy it with in-game money or the crew credits. I'm going to buy it with in-game money because I have plenty to go around. And now it says owned above it. Very spicy. I'm excited. I thought I was going to be test driving a bloody Summit car. I feel like it's been forever since the Evo 10 launched on this game. This was the first major update that I remember that I was like, oh my God, they're adding the cars that I could dream of. So this is an all-wheel drive drift car, at least... I imagine it's all-wheel drive still. I'm not exactly sure if the crew converts cars, so we're going to have to take a look-see. I forget that it's not the crew one, so I can't do that. It seems like there's some pull at the front. I need a better test. Why are there no bloody trees in California? <laughs> Where'd the Oh, that was way too edgy for YouTube. All right. I'm going to say... No, I think I think it converts all cars to mostly rear-wheel drive. There's maybe a little bit of a pull at the front, as you can clearly see, but in terms of actual how it's supposed to handle on the crew tour, how it's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be rear-wheel drive. Honestly, I can't remember. It's been a long time. The last time I properly got into drift was one of the first summits, and I was properly smashing it out because drift summits, to me, I don't know. Just, there's just something about a drift event on a summit that I really, really do enjoy. So we're definitely going to jump in and give that one event a go at the very least. Drift through the sky. Do a little jump. I'm on a roof. Oh, I'm off. As you can clearly see, this thing has tremendous amounts of bits done to it already. It's practically fully visually modified. And that worries me a little bit in that there may not actually be any visual mods that we can do. So I guess without further ado... We're gonna jump in to me house and give it a little bit of a tweak. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 hold the phone. I take it back. I genuinely came in expecting there to be pretty much nothing, but we've got some customization to go through. We're starting with a very aggressive customizations this time and going a little bit tamer towards the middle and then just as aggressive on the other side. You know what? It's been a long while since I had a carbon hood. So we're going to do a carbon hood. It's so weird. It looks naked now, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks very, very strange indeed. So am I going to end up with that option? Am I going to tame it down just a little bit? Come on, you know me. I ain't going to do that. We're going to, I think, go for... Uh, we're going to tame it down just a little bit. I do like having some lights on my car. So we're going to do that. Remove the fenders. I think not. Do you think I am a baboon? Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Can I change the color of these wheels? No, it would appear that if I want to change the color of the wheels, I would have to play with changing the actual wheels. I don't want to do that, to be honest. That's not my forte. Let's go for the carbon wing mirror caps. I need to get some of those. That's actually a really dope idea. Thank you, Ivory Tower. I appreciate that. I kind of wish we could change the red stripe. We said this about the, the very first Evo that they released with that special edition. We can reduce the size of the Wang on what planet do you think? And of course, the rear bumper, which was already super aggressive, we're now making much... Oh my god, that is beautiful. Do you know what? I actually kind of prefer this rear bumper. And I'm just going to smoke the lights just to mix it up a little bit. Because otherwise... Everything is going to look the same on my Evos. All my Evos will look the bloody same. 
and I will be disappointed in myself. We're going for carbon. Of course we are. Evo visually, in terms of parts, is complete. Now, we can change the color of the car. I think I'm probably going to go for a red. You know, actually, no. I don't know. Red, shut up. We're doing it now. We want, we want the red. We want it to look like my car. Now, here's the thing. Can we actually... Oh, we can remove the wrap. Good. I was kind of worried, to be honest with you, that we would be stuck with that livery. We got a PlayStation livery, which is actually kind of cool. We got this, which is blacking out. I want some kind of design. All right. <laughs> I just ended up with going with a carbon roof, and that's it. Not massively exciting, I know. The, I feel like the wheels do need to be changed. They do look a little bit odd now that we haven't got that design that was on it. So I, I'm going to play about with these. It's kind of hard to get good wheels picked out for this car, if I'm going to be totally honest with you. I'm not keen on them, but we're going to go for a brand new wheels. Because look at that. Tire design looks sick. And of course, we've got to put some juice under the hood. And then we're going to give a go at the drift. Come on, we're going to try the Summit Drift. I know, I don't need to, <laughs> but I really, really want to. I want to see how I can drift while commentating. Honestly, commentating, drifting is kind of difficult. I just realized that the front has like the red bar across the front. It looks very odd. Let's get it unranked because I am currently, well, I was currently building me whips. Right, right, right. Mitsubishi Lancer Drift. Come on. It is quite funny. 1200 horsepower. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that much. It is funny that it has all the bits on it when we can customize. It's just odd. It's very odd. But we are ready. Oh, what? Two, what drift event is this? One. Please tell me this is my drift event. It's not. I thought it was for a second. <laughs> this ain't my bloody event. Oh, no. This is. I hate this one. This one's kind of difficult, especially while I'm yapping my bloody brain off. To try and chain, to basically on the summits, you need to try and chain the whole event. And if you don't, well, you may as well basically give up. Oh, that was hardly a tap. Come on. It's very, very difficult to focus on two things at once on the crew too. I, <laughs> I tell you, it's the, the drifting. It's just a little bit floppy all over the place. All I'm going to aim for, though, is that 40k. And that 40k should should be a cakewalk. He says... I mean, I'm halfway through the event. One minute left. And we're still not quite there. Oh, yeah, come on. We got this. We got this. It's also really ideal to have some extra parts on here to really enable you to have a better multiplier. That's something that I would highly, highly recommend focusing on when it comes to drift. Uh, I've got none of the parts equipped to this car because I am a massive baboon. So I don't do what I do as I say and not as I do. That's the kind of situation. Now, in terms of drift cars, I have very few favorites. You, you remember back in the day, I did some good kind of comparison videos playing around with the cars and stuff. And the, this is not it. This is not any good at all. I mean, it's acceptable. But I don't think I would suggest this as being your main drift car. Pretty much just using it to play in the summit. <laughs> Other than that, I would retire this after doing that summit. I'd very much recommend you get some of the check some of, some of the other videos and figure out the testing for the best drift car. 18,000, as you can clearly see, first attempt, clearly. <laughs> clearly massive poo poo. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the Evo 10. Do you, are you, are you happy that it's now available as Drift? Are you gonna try and dial it in and get the settings right? Let me know. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you wanna know. I'll see you in the next video, till next time. Peace.